Now, the launch of India's first semi-cygenic or cyrogenic rocket scheduled for today has been delayed again. It uses commercially available aviation turbine fuel or kerosene and medical grade liquid oxygen. ISO Chief S. Somananth spoke exclusively to we on Siddharth MP on this and more. So finally, coming to um, again one aspect of launch vehicles. So for almost a decade and a half or two decades, India has been developing uh, the semi-cryogenic engine, kerosene liquid oxygen. So why is this program taken a considerably longer time than other engine developments? Of course, it's complex, the most powerful engine yet. So tell us more, please. Engine developments are like that. See, if you look at every world over, no engines were developed less than 10 years uh, in, in, in the West. And even 10 years was not enough. 10 years, it has reached some level of confidence, but it took another five years to you know, put it in operation. It's a, it is true of most of the engines of the world. So we don't have to blame us uh, because it has taken time, because it is not our own, own engine. It was an Acquia technology. So that it has its own challenges, because Acquia technology, we don't get everything, which we have to learn ourselves. And another important question is it had new, so many new materials which we are not having. It was all you know, coming from somewhere else. It, everything has to be indigenized and mastered. Of course, it has to test from incrementally to that full level. So it has taken that challenge. And many a times we face failures and problems. So that's why I am taking a co conscious view now. We should not, uh, we should develop uh, something which is with a very strong tie-up of knowledge transfer, including knowledge transfer. Uh, and including manufacturing knowledge transfer. We took so much of time in the manufacturing knowledge itself. It's not the technology of the engine that we know how to make it in India. Mm -hmm. So this is another big issue because industrial knowledge is very limited in terms of welding, manufacturing, alloying, heat treating, coating, etc. So uh, this is a major challenge for any complex nature of such project. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.